Hi everyone. So welcome back to a new video. Today is day 14 of our 30 days of JavaScript challenge. And today's question is time out cancellation. Okay. So in this question, what we have been given, we have been given a function fn. And it carries some arguments. That is a args. Okay. And we have a time timeout of t in which is measured in milliseconds okay and what we need to do is we need to return a cancel function okay cancel fn and this cancel function should be invoked okay after our uh, this time uh, after our normal function fn has been timeout okay so after a delay of this much time the cancel function will be in evoked means what they are trying to say is let's say we have a cancel function okay we have a cancel function cancel fn and it will be cancelled after some time there is some time this time is after this t time okay means af they are basically telling us that our function is sleeping for some time And after it is sleeping, it is getting cancelled. So, as we saw in the previous question, we had used set timeout. In case you, you haven't checked out the previous video, I have explained set timeout in it. You can go and check it out. I will mention the link in the description. Now, moving forward. Now, I am expecting that you know what is set timeout. Okay. So, set timeout what it will do it will make the function to sleep or we can say the function will not work that function will not work for that given time that is t time okay this t is given in milliseconds okay now what they are telling after a delay of cancel time that is it can be thousand milliseconds or any time our function our cancel function will be invoked then uh, then it can be like after 1000 millisecond also our cancel function can be invoked it can be invoked any time after our function has already slept or it has already been delayed okay now what we have told initially the execution of the function fn should be displayed by t milliseconds that is what they are telling here that if we have a function okay and whatever the details are being shown to us it should be shown to us after t milliseconds so we have to delay our function by t milliseconds what this means is if we have a function okay this function let's say it is a cancel function and it has a it has some value okay it has some value where we are delaying the delaying the work of a function okay let's say we have a function argument function and it is accepting some argument okay so this function has to be executed after t seconds so for that to we know that we need to use set timeout and how it will be used it will be used set timeout and we need to pass the function here with arguments and some time right the time is t seconds here now our, our function has executed after t seconds now we need to cancel this okay and this will be cancelled after some time okay so what we need to do is once we have set our this we have used set out set timeout okay we will assign the value whatever value we are getting in a variable let's say we will use timer here so we will use timer and then we will use clear timeout this clear timeout will cancel the timer here in the question they had asked yeah right that we have been given a function fn which has which carries an array of arguments and a timeout t millisecond is also given to us and we need to return a cancel function this 
this clear timeout it is a cancel function okay so it will cancel the working of thus set timeout now let's know what is clear timeout so clear timeout it is a function in javascript which cancels timeout okay this is a function which cancels timeout and what it how it cancels the set timeout it just cancels the previously set timer in the set timeout function okay it cancels a timeout that was previously set with the set timeout function and it also allows it also allows us to cancel the delay okay means let's say our function this set timeout function okay it was uh, le leading to the de uh, means delay of 1000 uh, milliseconds so this clear timeout what it can do it can it will allow us to cancel this delay and it will execute the function immediately okay so in this question they have not given us this specifically that we need to cancel the delay okay we uh, they have asked us that what we need to do is we need to return a cancel function okay and this cancel function should be only invoked after after a delay of some time okay after a delay of some time so for that we have to use set timeout in order to create a delay and after that the function will be cleared or the set timeout will be cleared so the this is the way we declare a clear timeout function okay so this is the basic way of declaring the function now let's see how to solve the question here so the syntax which we have been given here we will be using the exact same way okay so here what we have been given here we have let's say set timeout okay so this set timeout it will be assigned to a variable called timer const timer and what we are doing we are assigning a function here we have argument okay so we will use spread operator in order to uh, send the values and then now we have our arguments here and the next is we will use the t as delay time right now we need to clear this timer in order to cancel the delay so what we will do we will use clear timeout timer so this is it what we are supposed to do so let's see the code now so what we will have to do here we will be creating a variable and which in which we will be using uh, storing the set timeout right we are creating a timer fun uh, timer variable and in this we will be calling the set timeout function now in this what we will do we will have fn args and for the other one we have timer as t now what we need to do we need to clear the set timeout so we will use clear timeout let's try to run it now okay we need to return this right so since they have told here specifically that we need to return a cancel function okay so if we return this clear timeout directly it will show us an error so what we will do we will just create an arrow function here okay now let's try to run it so the sample test cases have passed let's try to submit it so this code has been accepted that's it for today guys thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please let me know in the comments and to continue with me in this coding journey of 30 days please subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification so you will be notified every time i post a new video thank you for watching